Many in the pharmaceutical industry chose their profession so they could help others, but the strain of the pandemic has left them needing help of their own. CBS News' Corey James has more on the burnout among pharmacy professionals and how some feel their calls for help aren't being answered. So I was always interested in helping people. <laughs> pharmacy seemed like a good choice for me. But honestly, I wasn't exactly prepared for what it's been like now. Work for this tri-state area pharmacist. It's been pretty rough. And it's been risky. <sighs> Filling more than 250 prescriptions a day <laughs> is now becoming a challenge because of the pandemic. Vaccines and testing. Two added tasks that this pharmacist says are jeopardizing patient safety. Each prescription only get, ends up getting a few minutes of your time. Mistakes can make it through and somebody gets the wrong medication for the wrong thing. And a mistake is what made pharmacist Blant Tanaway. I always wanted to be a pharmacist. Give up her lifelong dream last August. There was not enough people to handle the work. So what happened that day is that I did all of them. I did the data entry. I did the verification of the data, the product, and then I also did the last check. And so when it went out, the patient came back and said, this is wrong. So the medication was correct, but the directions were wrong. According to the American Pharmacists Association, <laughs> A recent survey about COVID-19 demands impacting operations revealed nearly 80% of pharmacists are exhausted from work. And according to the National Community Pharmacists Association, about 70% of independent pharmacists say they are struggling to fill staff positions like pharmacy technicians. Was it like this before COVID? No, not at all. This Rite Aid pharmacy technician who asked that we do not show her face understands why. It's hard to even just try to balance out doing prescriptions, which is like literally like our sole purpose, or it was our sole purpose, and now it's just like COVID, COVID, COVID. I don't want somebody to get the wrong medication, get the wrong vaccine, because we're feeling pressure from all sides. We reached out to Rite Aid multiple times for comment, but have not heard back. However, those we spoke with say when they asked for additional staffing, corporate reminded them of the budget, which makes them question if they will ever get what is needed to properly and safely do their job. Having more help would definitely help. And I'm sure more and more people will start to quit if it doesn't change soon. And hanging up the white coat is a move some are making. Fearing the stress of being stretched too thin could end deadly. Corey James, CBS 2 News.